Okay, if you work with Google Drive and you upload files in the and often share folder, you might find that the people you're sharing it with um, can't open the files because they're in a different format. So the usual process is you go, you download it from the Google Drive, you then change the format using a desktop program and re-upload it here again. However, there's an easier way of doing it where you can convert uh, basically most file types. This is an audio file, but you can convert audio, video, PowerPoint files. I think it can do Word documents also. So you're using a third party cloud service, but it links into your Google Drive. To access it, you can just start off and right click on a file and go to open with. Now you notice here there's three options here because it's reading that we're working with an audio file. So it gives you possible suggested files. Now this cloud convert I've already linked up. In your case, you might find it as a suggested app. If you click on there, it's going to ask you which Google account that you're working on and then it asks permissions to access it the usual way. Um, I've done it already, so I'm going to just click here, convert. And it opens this dialog here, which is cloud convert. Yeah, if you look under pricing, there's a pricing model here. So if I right click and just open in another tab, you'll see that you're able to do 25 conversions per day. Now I've done about 25 yesterday, so I'm, I can use another 25 today to just demonstrate what I'm doing. It is a brilliant thing because if you're using under 25 conversions per day, then you'll have it free all the time. But if you're doing it more on a commercial basis where you need probably about 500 conversions, you can pay $8 and get that conversions happening. Or you could subscribe to a monthly subscription and be able to do a thousand conversions a month. And what type of files can it convert? We'll have a look into that now. So yeah, this is Cloud Convert. It's an independent program, but it runs in the cloud. What we have done now by right clicking on a file is and registering it, we're able now to do that conversion from Google Drive straight into Cloud Convert. Okay, so let me show you how that gets done. On the top area, which is a global setting, which means if I say it must convert from MP3, let's say to what other file format, let's call it a M4A, or you could have FLAC conversion, whatever, then it's going to do it with all the files you bring in here. If you want to alter them independently, then on each of the files, you can go and change it over there. Okay, so this cog here is to decide what um, quality settings and everything. So if you click there, it's going to give you all the different settings you could moderate under that if you choose to. What is important here is make sure that this box is checked here, which says when you save this file after the conversion, you must save it to the Google Drive. So you'll sit with the original file plus this converted file. You'd also have a download button here that you can download it physically onto your computer if you choose to do so. Okay, but I'm going to show you something more exciting than just doing one at a time. So I'm going to now click onto this button here. This is self-explanatory if you want to add files from your computer using a URL, Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive. We are going to go to from Google Drive because what I'm going to do is copy all the others in here. As long as we got less than 25, we'll be able to batch convert them. And this is why this is so exciting. I just did this for this client and that's where I discovered I didn't want to sit and go and do one one at a time. So if I click from Google Drive, it's going to navigate there and I'll go to that folder. And I suggest that you, you put the files you want to convert into a specific folder. Else, every time you want to select additional file, you're going to have to navigate to a totally different folder. So if I click here, you find all of those files are showing up here. So what I can do is I can click the first one, scroll to the bottom, and I'm on a PC, so I press the Shift button and click the bottom one to multiple select. Now I've done a multiple selection of all the files here. Now I can just say select, look what happens. It pulls all of those files through over here. Okay, and if you want to maybe have a custom format for each of these ones, like here at the moment I pulled this through but I've got two of the same because that one came through initially so I'm going to just remove that. Um, Okay, so you could go and set this one independently. Maybe you want a FLAC file, etc. 
So you still can sort of granular edit over here. So here we have all the files that's in the Google Drive. When I click convert here, it will make a copy. Maybe I just for the sake of uniformity, let me just keep that in M4A. It's going to save a copy of this file in M4A format right here and it will have a download button here as I explained. So that's it. We have how many files here? One, two, three, four, five. I think it's about 12, 13 files here. So I'm going to just press convert and you will see the process of it going. So because you don't have a paid package, it will do five at a time. But once those five are done, you just press convert again and it will carry on with the rest. Okay, I'm here back in this area. Can you see here? There's the M4A. You see them popping in there as the conversion happens. Okay, let's go back there. So those are all done. There you have a download if you just want to locally download it on a computer. Because of this area here, as I say, it only does five at a time because this is the free version. You can click convert again. It will do the next five. And yeah, so yeah, we've got 12 of them. Did five, another five and two. And of course, if I try and do more than 25, it's going to stop at that point and I'll have to wait for 12 hours to 24 hours to pass and then be able to complete the rest. So you'll see it just all populating in this area. OK, for the sake of completion, I'm going to do the last two. There we go. So there we see we're sitting with the original MP3s and the M4As also over there converted. Great stuff. So hopefully that helps you and gets you underway so you can do one click conversions totally for free under 25 a day here in the Google Drive. So be blessed and Shalom.